want to talk about Serena Williams first up. Could you believe what was unfolding before your very eyes yesterday in that third set? 6-4, uh, 3-2 down. I thought maybe just it wasn't her day. You know, at 37, sometimes you wake up and you just don't feel as good as you normally did when you're in your 20s. And uh, then all of a sudden she gets up 5-1 in the third. You go, that's, you know, classic Serena comes back from the brink of defeat, but I never ever expected at that point. That's what she usually does, is come back from match points down, save them, and then somehow agonizingly you see the opponent lose. So to see her go down and lose six in a row, I don't know. I mean, there was that call, it was a little weird, and mm -hmm. then she sprained her ankle, or turned it, and didn't call the trainer. The way players uh, approach that, I would have thought that maybe at 5-4, just to throw a little wrinkle into things, she might have called the trainer, because you did see her turn it a bit. So she didn't do that and gave credit to Pliskova, so she handled that well. I mean, we, we saw these shots afterwards of just how much it was hurting her. At what point do you sort of regroup and say, OK, look, let's just get on with it now and worry about the next tournament? I mean, how long do you allow yourself to hurt? Uh, she's going to be hurting probably to the French Open. Mm. You know, she only, to me, this is just my opinion, all she cares about are the majors. You know, she's trying to tie Margaret Court. She's one away. She doesn't play a, a, a full schedule. She only played, I think, six tournaments last year. And I don't think she'll play a whole lot more this year. So she may play a warm-up event or two, possibly a couple of exhibitions. But that's going to sting. I mean, at, you know, what happened, and I can't even compare them. Serena's way better than I was. But... As you get older, you realize you have less opportunity maybe to pull this off. Uh, and so you put more pressure on yourself. And it looked like at the end that she, the pressure, which is very rare. I mean, I didn't think I'd be saying this, but the pressure of the moment got to her a bit. Well, uh, now, I don't want to put words in your mouth. And this was a word that was bandied around yesterday. Choke? Uh, you know, a little bit of choking, yeah. This, let's face it, uh, they're all human beings. I think when you see, say, Roger and he goes up against CC Pass and you go, this guy looks like he's 37 a little bit. And so uh, what it does to me is actually you look back at what they've actually accomplished and you're like, oh, my God, what they've done already is just out of this world. I mean, if you had told me when Sampras hit 14 that you'd have three guys either tie or ahead of him, I'd said you're crazy. So... It just shows you how much they've accomplished that when you see them actually fail every now and then.